So immediately after stabilization surgery, where they basically reattached my head back to the rest of my body, I was um, in the ICU uh, in Hawaii for about three weeks. And I can tell you in those three weeks, I was probably the most sick I've ever been in my life. And uh, if it wasn't for me being in semi-decent shape, I can tell you that I probably wouldn't be here today. Uh, that's, that's a guarantee. Um, you know, I was down, I was so weak and I was so sick that, and that I was down to one lung. Um, one of my lungs collapsed. And uh, at night, I had to be strapped to this um, breathing apparatus, this mask, which basically forced air down into my lungs just so I could breathe. Uh, I, I wasn't quite trached. They didn't have to put a, a, a tube down my throat to, to breathe, but I did have to use, I think it was a, some sort of pat machine or something like that. Um, also, occasionally, uh, not occasionally, quite often, they had to take a tube, a suction tube, stick it down my, my, into my nose and down my throat so they could clear uh, the secretions that were building up inside because I was so weak and I couldn't do it myself. I was on so many pain meds. I, I was pretty out of it. And it was a time that, that's kind of real blurry to me. Uh, but I know that I was real sick in those three weeks. Um, but after those three weeks, uh, my family decided that uh, I was going to do inpatient rehab back in Seattle. Uh, so I, flo I, I was flown in a, in a normal airplane, um, which was a whole, whole ordeal just getting back home uh, to Harborview in, in Seattle, which where I spent the, the next five weeks in inpatient rehab. Um, and in inpatient rehab, it is basically where they teach you um, to kind of get your life back to every basic kind of thing, just, just to kind of live again. Um, after a spinal cord injury, your body, you're, you're basically a baby again, and you gotta start from scratch from everything. And I mean everything, from bathing, to going to the bathroom, to brushing your teeth, to eating, to putting on your clothes. Uh, inpatient rehab was kind of just getting your, your family ready to, for a life of, a different life uh, of, of, of paralysis and, and, and craziness. And, you know, it was a, it, it was a, it felt like jail for a little bit uh, because I couldn't go anywhere and I was basically living in the hospital for the entire summer for five weeks. And, uh, you know, you're, you're still getting used to your body. You're still trying to uh, cope and uh, grasp what happened to you. Um, because you know you can't walk anymore, you can't move anymore. You go from being completely independent to being now dependent on others for everything that you do. And um, those five weeks were just you, your your family. You you were just in shock, and it's uh, it's not the obviously not the, the happiest time, but it's um, it's not a good situation. So the first two years I that I um, post spinal cord injury um, kind of were just about that, just learning how to live again, learning how to get in and out of bed, learning how to um, adapt to this new life. And I would be lying to tell you that in those two years were probably the roughest I've had it. There were days uh, that I was angry, that I was upset, that I wanted to just not even get up in the morning because it was so hard. Uh, there were days that I, I um, you know, I wanted to quit school, uh, you know, you know, and I'm a teacher now. And for those of you guys who know me, I, I love school. Uh, but I remember vividly there was a day with my mom. Uh, we got into an argument. I said, well, what is the point anymore? Why am I even doing this? Why do I even need to go to school? Because... It was so hard, um, you know, everything, it took everything out of me to just do the most simplest things. Uh, and at the same time, I wanted to do things for myself and my body wasn't letting me. Uh, I had to be driven around by, you know, whoever, not myself. And it was a time where it was tough. I, I was challenged every single day. 
But the good news is uh, that that didn't last forever. Uh, after about two years, things started to kind of settle in and uh, you kind of get used to a lot of things that, th that didn't bother you anymore. Um, and from year two, from year two to now, the kind of uh, recovery kind of happened in stages, I guess is, is what I what I say. Um, so once I learned how to drive again, I think that was at about year three. Uh, I learned how to drive and got my license. That opened up another door. Uh, I graduated from college with my degree, my bachelor's degree in exercise science. Uh, and after that, I got my first job and I started, uh, I did a little personal training on the side for a little bit. Um, and then after that, I realized that I wanted to chase my childhood dream and become a teacher. Uh, so that opened up and an opportunity opened up to coach track and field. And, uh, you know, just this past year, I moved out on my own. This is my apartment. And that was last year, and I made one year just, I think, last week. I survived on my own. Uh, so, you know, things got better, but it was a long road. It was a long time uh, coming. Uh, lots and lots of help from, uh, from my family and from my friends. And, you know, before I end this video, I, do wanted, I did want to, to show you, um, just give you a glimpse of, of what the whole journey has been. And... Uh, from all the people that basically helped me and that allowed me to succeed, allowed me to to be the man that I am today. Um, and I would be lying to you if I if if I didn't admit that in a way I am I am thankful of this injury. I am thankful of uh, you know that day in a way in a way because I am. I am such a better person now. I am uh, ten times more humble. Uh, I appreciate everything. I um, just the person. I'm proud of the person that I am today. Um, then it's allowed me to 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 be a better teacher. Um, it's you know uh, prowess is, is a bitch, and it's you know there's no sugar coating around it. But the lessons that over the years that it's taught me. I'm appreciative of that as well. So, uh, so yeah. Before I leave you, here's here's a slideshow of the journey and, and of all the wonderful people that, that have helped me, my family, my friends, um, that kind of made the journey enjoyable. So, uh, until next time, enjoy.